hi guys. Um, I just wanted to come on here again tonight. I have a video uploading right now on my computer that didn't get uploaded yesterday. Had an error message. So, started over on that. So, I might be just a little bit behind on getting these uploaded. But, so you'll see, probably see this tomorrow after I film it tonight. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys, after I did that last one, where I did a flip through of my scrapbooks, I thought, well, I want to do one of my pocket letter binders. So, I got them out today, and I put stickers on the back of them, so I remember where they came from. That's the best way for me to remember, I think. Um, I started with this one. This one came from Leanne, from um, Piles of Polish, and I'll link her down below. And we've done a couple other swaps, you'll see some more. This is like a vintage Christmassy, very cute. And since I just got this one today, I didn't take anything out of the back of it. My other ones, I have taken stuff out of the back of them. Mainly just to keep these binders from being so lumpy. And if one of them were to fall sideways, stuff's going to fall out. So, I have most of that stuff in one particular box for like a stash box. Anyway, um, so these cute stickers and vintage stuff. Very cute. And a letter for me. This one was one of the Halloween ones I got. I guess it might have been the only Halloween one I got, but um, I concentrate so much on the Christmas ones and the the winter ones that I didn't. I don't. Yeah, I did some Halloween ones, but they were back in the summer. You know me. I just try to stay ahead of the holidays. But anyway, enough about that. Um, this one was from uh, Debbie from Pocket Letter Pals Facebook group. Very cute with the key. And the owls. My daughter liked this one. She really liked this one. And again, I, you know, I took the stuff out of the back of it. So This one is from um, Lisa Rose. And she has a YouTube channel and I'll link her down below also. And again, I took some of this stuff out of the bag, but not all of it on hers. Some really pretty lace, some antique looking orange lace, and some felt stickers, really cute felt owl with the googly eyes, and there were some other things in here. That one was from Lisa, and again, I'll link her down below. This one is from Danielle. I showed this one in a video um, last week when I got it, or a week before last when I got it, so he has already seen that one. And again, I took some of this stuff out, but not all of it. On the newer ones that I've gotten. This one is from... You know what? I didn't put a sticker on this one. Let me see who the note's from. Just a minute, guys. I want to see who this is from. <laughs> oh, this is from Lynn. This was from Lynn Evans. She's in Pocket Letter Pals. Great. Yeah, that was from October from the breast cancer awareness um, stuff, and she sent me a lot of other of the pink uh, awareness goodies. This one is from Hope Harris, and she and I have exchanged several different letters. Very cute, bright pinks. And this one is from Linda Tally, and she had made a trip to Ireland, and so she made several different ones of this in the art group, um, some ir Irish pocket letters, so, and again, I left some of it in there, she actually put some, um, coins in here, and I have a couple of those in my wallet, and my daughter has, one in her wallet, this one was one of the first ones that I had gotten, this is from Bridget Gonzalez, she's from California, this one is also from Linda, this is a dog theme one, and, on the back, um, she sewed in the pockets. She sewed milk bones. I left one in here. I should probably go ahead and take it out. But she put my little doggy treats in there. So they got those treats in the mail. They were happy about that. This one is from Lori. And I just love this one. You know, it's just a little bit of Christmas from somebody else. You know, it's her tags. What's the kind of stuff that she uses on her wrapping. And it's really cute. And we did these back in July, probably. So, this one was one, also one of the first ones that I had gotten. This is from Allie Stamper. And 
<clears throat> she had done this one in like a collage style. I thought it was really neat. It's always been one of my favorite ones. And all the things that she put on the back. And again, I took some of it out already. This one was from Bridget Gonzalez also, I believe. This is the sticker I put on it. Yeah, this is from Bridget Gonzalez, so we did two swaps. This one is from Lacey Justice. And we have another swap coming up pretty soon. This one is from Sammy Spain. Um, she got started doing pocket letters uh, about the time that I did, and I haven't really heard from her much since then. I don't really know what's going on, but you guys know, I mean, things can happen. And but we did a swap, and then did the Mickey. And this one is from Emily Taylor Cupcakes. This one is also from Lori. This is back in the summer when I was thinking so much about Christmas. She kept me entertained with Christmas <laughs> in my mailbox. This one is also from Lori. And I believe that was Lori. You know what? That might not have been. I may have. I may have messed it up. Let's see. No, that's for Lori. Okay. <laughs> Just didn't look like her handwriting. But this one, apparently, like I said, some of my stuff, um, if they fall over back, kind of on their sides. I think I must have lost this behind my cabinet. I lose. I lost a section out of this one. Let's say I had to look behind there and see if it fell out. That one's from Hope. Here is the Hope. This is a cool one. This is one that um, April Flanner and I did. And it was a junk mail pocket letter. And these were just really fun. So, it's just a little bit of her junk mail that she has coming to her. She put all kinds of goodies and made little clips out of um, magazine covers. And on the back, you guys, she put this pizza place. Um, um, okay, I cannot think of the word. Um, menu on the back of this. And I've looked at this and I want to go there. I want to go to this pizza place in her town. Okay, this one is from, from Leanne also from Piles of Polish. And we did a, a state pocket letter. I sent her Arkansas, the natural state, and she sent me North Carolina. And we both kind of had the same idea. I did some flip out um, sections on hers, and she just did like a little mini book. So here's some of the things that I've been to North Carolina, but not all over the state. Some of the things I recognize. And she put some, um, some little shells from the shore. And just some more information about, about them. But those state pocket letter, letters are really fun to do. This one is the last one in this book. And I don't have a sticker on it, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good at staying organized this week. And having all this coldness and in my system's got me kind of loopy. Okay, let's get that one out of the way. Okay, this one. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite ones. I don't want to say that I have a favorite one because, you know, that's not that's like how a kid say it's your favorite one. But Lori, um I cannot pronounce her last name. But she is awesome. And she also sent me a huge stocking full of tons of other goodies with this book letter. I just really love it. She just puts a lot of time into it. Puts a lot and I took out almost all the goodies except for the letter of this one because she sent such awesome goodies. It's not about the goodies, but oh my goodness. This one is from Barb, and I really, really like this one too. Um, and all the blues, and I know that she's a big fan of Snowman and Blues, so I'm sure she liked making this one. And she put the, um, the little rhinestones and the snowflakes and made, I think she said this was her first shaker pocket. Cute. That one's from Barb, from Bark and Hunting Barb, and this one is from Melody Law, a vintage Christmas, very cute, and she did the backs 
of those two. This one is one of my international. I have two international. I have one in Canada, and this one is from the Netherlands. This is from Great, 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 the Hollander from the Netherlands. And this was, um, I think, in August or September. And I just really loved all her work and all the groups that I saw. So I wanted to get one from her. And I sent her one also in a beach theme, I believe. This one is from Eva Bowen. Very cute. All the pinks. This one is from Cheryl Turgeon. I love her work. I absolutely love it. Well, Cheryl Mason. And I already took most of the kitties out of the back of that. This one is from April. Planner also. I think this is the first bucket letter I ever got, actually. This one is from Barb. Bark and Honey Barb. Also, love that one. This one is from Brenda Swanson. This one's also from Cheryl Mason. This one is from Hope Harris. This is so cute, guys. She, this is the one where I think I got more introduced to putting things on the outside of the pockets instead of always the inside. So this kind of inspired me to, to kind of go out of the pockets a little bit. This one is, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not even sure who this is from. I have terrible record keeping. Terrible. Anyway, this one is from Lynn Evans. Paul, that letter. And this one is from Debbie Pickett from Pocket Letter Pals Group. And she did some of the stuff on the outside, like I was talking about. That is awesome. This one is from Karen Beefold. I, be, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, she's a Stampin' Up rep, and if I'm really seriously considering signing up with Stampin' Up after the first of the year, and she'll be my upline. So, anyway, she sent me that, and um, a little sampling of a lot of the different die cuts and things that that Stampin' Up has for the holidays. They came out within their their holiday catalog. So this one was from Lisa. Not Lisa Rose. Oh no, Lisa. This one is also from Brenda Swanson. I thought this was just beautiful. Just absolutely awesome. So much time she wants to sit on this. She actually sent out little pieces of um, shells from Santa Bell Island in Florida in this. And this one is also from Cheryl Mason. She did the banner. I've done on a few different ones, but and again, a lot of these Christmas ones were done back in the summer. <laughs> this one's also from Eva Bowen. And this one is from Canada. This is from Natalie. Oh, this is really cute with the the shaker with the pinks and the golds. And I also sent her a pink and gold pocket letter, so I had fun with that. Showing myself to do something a little different. So that's all the pocket letters that I have right now um, that I have that I have um, gotten. I do have another binder that I put the ones that I have made in here. And here's one that I just did together last night from a calendar that I got in a Dollar Tree. Of course, none of these are done. You know, they're just ideas that I'm going to hang that out. Here's some from uh, some Project Life cards that I cut down. Another Christmas one. I'm not going to show the next one because it, it's somebody that may be watching this video. A snow one. With an actual picture that I took in the middle. Of course, like I said, none of these are done yet. Another Hello Kitty that can be finished for some fun. 
I have this um, casino top one with real poker poker chips in there that I made when I first started making pocket letters, but they even just never got it taken. So I have that one. I already have it loaded with gifts. So. And this birthday one, this one, and I was like I just picked over that one. Got some goodies out of that for another pocket letter. But anyway, I just keep some on the side if I have some papers I want to get into a pocket letter. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll try to get some more videos out this week. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better. So, have a good weekend, guys. Thanks. Bye.